now we'll look at how to draw two plots in the same window so we'll draw box whiskers plot and histogram so let's see how to draw them in the same window so what we'll do we'll split the windows into two parts for that we have function in matplotlib library so we'll call the alias of matplotlib library that is plt dot then we'll call the function subplots and inside this function we have to give how many parts you want to how many rows you have to create you want to create the windows in so we'll create two rows so for the two plots then comma next parameter would be specification of grid like height and width etc so we'll use variable called grid specs underscore kw equals to inside curly braces we'll give our height ratios so this is a string and this will have a value in the form of decimal format so if you want to give for the down part more value or more aspect ratio you will give 0.85 that is 85 percent to below plot window and upper plot window will give 0.15 so this comes down to 100 you see how to put into a parenthesis like a tuple and both of these values will be saved in these two parameters so first parameter is f that is for figure comma the second parameter i have contained into a tuple so that they both share the same value so one is x is for box plot that is ax underscore box comma then the x is for histogram that is ax underscore hist so they will have the same value that's why i have included them into the same parameter so now what we can do is we'll add these lines to create the two plots so for that we'll call the seaborn library alias sns.boxplot function inside that will give the data frame column we want to include that is price then comma the axis which you want to include so we'll give ax equal to ax underscore box so this will save the computed value ax box into this variable same way we'll draw for histogram that is by using dist plot function of seaborn library we'll give price as first parameter and then we'll give ax equal to ax underscore hish then we don't need the kernel density estimate so we'll make it as kde equal to false so now if you see the plot given below you can see there are two plots one is box plot and it is in horizontal format and we have the histogram that is in without the regression line let me show this by running it so we'll first box fix curve and histogram in the same window and we'll make this as markdown now we'll use our code so first will be figure so for that we have used f variable and the second one would be the axis so i'll give axis first parameters x box and second parameter would be x underscore dist and that will be equals to we'll call plot alias plt dot subplot function and inside that we'll give two rows we want to create then the grid specification underscore kw equals to open the curly braces inside that we'll give the height underscore ratios colon then we can give a tuple in the tuple we'll give the first one we want 0.15 then second one we want 0.85 so this can, comes down to 100 or 1 now if you run this we'll get two row wise plots in the same window so now what we can do we'll set or both the plots by calling sns receive one library so first one would be box plot and we'll give cars data slicing operator and we'll give price and then we'll give x is equal to ax underscore box run this it is now taken same way we'll go for sns for histogram so dist plot and we'll give cars underscore data the slicing operator and the price column 
then ax underscore hist as our axis uh, value then we don't want kernel density estimate so we'll give it is kd equal to false and if we run this now what we can do we'll include both of them in the same window and if we run this now we got both the plots in the same window so we have box plot here and we can clearly see the price from 5000 to 30000 the 10000 is the median value and less than 5000 that is around 3500 something we have minimum value then we have around 16 17000 we have maximum value so same way we can uh, see the count of uh, the histogram and we can see the count that is number of cars and the price so we have around uh, 8000 arrows we have a lot of cars more than 150 so this is how you can uh, have more than two plots in the same window let's just clear this okay so next i will show you is pairwise plots so what pairwise plots are used for they are used for plotting pairwise relationship in a data set what is pairwise relationship i will show you that in this couple of minutes so it will show the relationship between all the different variables in a particular data set and that would be a pairwise relationship so it creates a scatter plots for joint relationships and histograms for univariate relationship so what is joint relationship and what is univariate relationship i'll show you in the couple of minutes so this is the code format we have to use we have to use sns dot we have to use a function called pair plot and inside that we have to give our uh, data frame name so we have cars underscore data and then we have to give the kind so which kind we want to include scatter we will give for scatter plot and then the hue hue is the parameter on which we want to calculate the pairwise plot so we'll in include fuel type and now if i show you the output so this will be output so let's run and see we'll call sns library then pair plot then inside that will give the data frame then the kind we want to we want to include is scatter because if you like scatter plots then you we want to do this pairwise plot by using fuel type and all the rest of the columns so if you run this we got a warning okay we got plot it took some time so our plot is drawn let me zoom out a little bit okay so one thing i want to show you here is so i hope you can see here we have price then age then kilometers these are all the columns and here also we can see the all the columns price age kilometer so we'll consider price first in the x axis and the price in the y axis so when we have price and uh, price that is same variable we get a histogram that is univariate distribution because only one uni means only one so only one variable is involved so that is called univariate distribution for that we are using histogram and here you can see the kd is also put automatically and same way you can see age and the age itself so all the diagonal boxes are histograms because they are actually the column distribution of itself so that's why it is a univariate distribution of histogram and the other ones like price versus this one price versus age it is you can see bottom age it is so that is scatter plot because it is not a uh, univariate it is joint relationship of two variables that is price and age so we can see the negative correlation and uh, you can see the red blue and the green color so those are fuel types here you can get see the legend diesel is blue actually petrol is orange and cng is green 
so you can see petrol is more here orange color same way we can see the pairwise relationship for all the different variables so price versus kilometer then you can see price versus hp same way we can see for age versus price then we can see age versus kilometer then kilometer versus price like that and you can see the positive correlation here that is between kilometers and age so as the age increase increases the kilometer will also increase so this is a positive correlation so we can get more easily the insights or pairwise relationship between all the variables and some scatter plots are don't have any correlation so that's why they are like this you can see it's a scatter all over the place they have no correlation particularly that's why they are like this scatter all over the place so this is how you draw a pairwise plot so i have used pairwise plot with uh, respect to fuel type you can also include different variables so the summary so we have learned how to create basic plots in seaborn library first one we did was scatter plot and then we did histogram so for that we had used dist plot function and for bar plot we had used count plot and in that we had used grouped bar plots then we did box and whisker plot inside that we did box plot then box and whiskers plot and then grouped box and whiskers plot then in the end we did pairwise plots so guys thank you for watching i will see you in the next video